So, a few things before we get into this video. One, my face kind of looks rough because I did like a dark purple and black like smoky look and even though I washed my face and before that used my micellar water like twice or three times, I still have like black around my eyes so that's fun. Two, I have the window open so you might hear kids yelling or cars like driving by. Um, I live across the street from a, um, like, little league baseball field. I have a creek next to me that has ducks and geese, and then there's also a trail next to it that, um, people walk by, and even though we're supposed to stay home, people are just, you know, out and about. And three, someone downstairs is playing music, so I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully not, because I really don't want to, like get a copyright thing because trust me if I could play music I would listen to music while I'm doing my makeup but that's just not <laughs> advisable so yeah those three things are out of the way um I already primed with the Milani eyeshadow primer and now I'm just gonna put down my usual base which is the NYX can't stop won't stop uh, concealer and pale now that we got a clean base on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Morphe Such a Gem palette. And this is really huge one. I believe it's 39 colors. Um, it's basically the same, well, it is the same um, layout as the James Charles palette, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've been loving it quite a bit lately. This is actually what I used last night. But um, I'm going to go into the crease with a like soft brown color and I'm just going to use this shade right here and unfortunately there's like a paper well it's like a plastic insert that um comes out so I will list the names either on the screen or I will put them in the um description box down below so I'm just going to put that in the crease And it doesn't really need to be perfect, however, because I'm such a perfectionist and I have to, like, get things right, I tend to, like, blend it until it's, like, um, how I feel is, like, nice, um, but, yeah, so that's kind of what you want for now. And then, what I'm gonna do, color right here, it looks denser brush and it's just like that um slightly below um the brown and into the crease and i'm probably gonna stop like right there like fade that in and then of course as always come into this so I'm just going to take a small shading brush. It looks like this one. This is from Sally's, like, basically back when I first started my channel. So, like, 10 years old. And, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's from the Face Secrets brand. I don't even know if they, like, sell these type of brushes anymore. But, anyways, I'm just going to take this dark burgundy color right here. And that's going to deepen up the outer corner and outer... Um, crease and I'm just concentrating on the outer and you can go a little bit up but you don't want to like cover that top shadow it's safe to say that Morphe has become like my favorite like another favorite brand like my top two makeup brands right now are Morphe and Colourpop I really don't do this, and I know in a video I stated that I really, um, don't see the point in this, but sometimes, um, I find it necessary to have to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that concealer. I'm gonna take, like, a small concealer brush, just like this one, and get it on the brush. I'm not gonna completely cut out the crease, but I'm just gonna, like, make a crisp line. 
to where I think, well, to where my natural crease is. The color I put down pops even more. And I'm just going to blend that out. The way that I did it, like, I didn't completely, um, go over all the work I just did. I just, um, did where I'm going to, like, color down. And the color I'm going to use is this really pretty, like, shimmery taupe silvery color. I used it last night and I fell in love with it instantly. It's so, it's, like, so creamy and blendable. Um, it's this color right here. Can you see how like shimmery and pretty that is again it's that color um i just think it's so freaking pretty and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna wipe off that brush again that concealer brush i think it is i don't even know where i got this but um i'm gonna get on that brush add a further blend um the like two colors together you're just gonna go in with that burgundy color again and just start like fading it in you can also use your fingers whatever works now what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to add a highlight to my brow bone brow bone and then i'm just gonna use this really creamy um shimmery color it's like a creamy champagne color right there I'll use another like concealer type brush and normally I do a matte one, but I've been using this one lately, and I've fell in love. I have fallen in love with like doing a shimmery highlight again. I used to do it all the time back in the day, but then I got into a routine of using matte. I don't know. I think it just. I think it just adds just a nice brow bone highlight. If you can hear the geese again, I apologize. They will do this all night too. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to add like a line of liner on the top lash line. And I'm just using the NYX That's the Point liner. And I'm not doing a wing or anything. I'm just going as close to the lash line as possible. I did um, my brows and I just put mascara on. Same as always, L'Oreal Luminous. Um, and then I put some liner in my waterline and I just use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Mr. Bang. It's just a brown. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an inner corner highlight and of course I'm going to go in with my favorite pencil brush and I think I'm just going to go back in with the color that I use as my brow bone and I'm just going to put that in and drag it up and do my face and I'll be back. So I'm going to put some shadow underneath the eye and I'm just going to use this brown right here. It's kind of like a chocolatey brown. Um, and then you just want to smudge it as you go. I'm just going to take that um, pencil brush again and the same color we use for our um, inner corner and our brow bone. And just touch that up again. A bit of mascara on my lower lash line. I mean, my lower lashes. So, the eyes are pretty much, well, they're pretty much done, yeah. So, I'm just going to add some highlight. And the highlight I'm going to use today is, we'll go with the LA Colors Highlight in um, Shine Bright. And it's kind of just champagne goldy color and I'm just going to go in with a highlight brush for today, today for lips I'm just going to do like a neutral like just a neutral color and this is the ColourPop lipstick in layover and it's just your typical neutral color I meant to say nude. I'm just going to add a little bit of um, Flynn Rider. Well, it's called Flynn, but it's from the Disney Designer Collection. This was in the Tangled Bundle. So it's just like a rosy brown nude color. And I'm just going to put a little bit of over top. So that's the completed look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't be afraid to comment or like, well, don't be afraid to comment or leave critic constructive criticism. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see any more looks with this palette, I'll be like totally happy to do that. It's really a gorgeous palette. It's more so like pinks and purples and mauves and like some burgundies but um yeah i also have the james charles palette and all the other palettes that i showed you in my um uh desk desk tour so leave me suggestions um and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later